Hi everyone, it is super hot today and very humid. So of course the plants are stressing out as much as we are with all these conditions. So today we're gonna show you just some tips on watering, when you should water and things like that. Um, I know with everyone's schedule, it's hard to get water at the certain times, but if you can water early in the morning, that is your best bet that you can do. Um, if you can water later in the evening, that is perfect as well too. You just don't want to water harsh days like today, like right now, we're mid-afternoon, I think, pretty close to it. So definitely you don't want to water during that time. And it's very, very hot out here today. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show you some watering tips for everything. Um, so we have a lot of perennials up here. We've got the Summer Crush Hydrangea. We've got roses. They all do not want to get their leaves wet this time of day, this time of year, because it's so hot and humid. If you get their leaves wet and that water stays on there because there's so much moisture in the atmosphere, that can cause a lot of fungus or spots. So we're going to kind of show you how to prevent that. So we've got the banana cream here and we've got our water. Get all the air pockets out of here, I guess. And so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this completely up. Now, if it was in the ground, it probably comes about 10, 15 seconds and move to the next. Next, we've got the um, salsa red cone flower. Again, I'm just filling the pot up completely. Same thing you would do with your annuals as well too. Hanging baskets, water until they're literally, the water is falling right through. That way you know you've got that soil good and things. Um, we've got Russian sage here that's just getting ready to bloom, so we're going to give these guys a really good drink. But again, as you can tell, we're not getting any leaves wet. Now, yes, you will get a few of them wet, but that is perfectly fine. Now, if you have the hydrangeas, either like the Endless Summer, the Original, Twist and Shout, Summer Crush, these guys should actually, hopefully, you have them in shade already. They like sun until 2 o'clock after that they would prefer it cool. Now, if you have to give this a good drink, you wanna get up underneath the plant as much as you can and fill that up with water. Um, if this was planted in the ground, I probably would count for at least a good 20, 25 seconds and move to the next one. These guys, you could water, if they're in full sun all day, you could water two, three times a day if need be. What's gonna happen is midday, it's gonna look a little wilty. As Soon as you give it water, it's gonna come right back through. Over here we've got our Shasta daisies that are just getting ready to bloom. And then we've got our hot coral cone flowers right here. Um, roses are a little bit different. Let me just get out of the way. Roses are a little bit different. They can get black spots very, very easy. So again, with these guys, you want to make sure that you get right down in there. Um, if you have them in a container, fill that container right up. If they're in ground, good 20 25 seconds go right on to the next one but again you don't want to get any leaves wet unfortunately we did have some leaves that did get wet I'm just gonna peel these off here and this is what can happen okay so you can get leaf spot like this this is called like a fungus and a lot of times it's with watering and things like that does it hurt the plant not at all um, eventually they will dry and come right off but just keep that in mind so when you're watering them you want to just keep the water off the leaves as much as possible. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Make sure you guys get out and water for the next few days. Um, another question we get a lot of is, if it rains two, three inches, can I not water for three, four days? Some things, yes. Trees especially, you probably would not have to water, but if they're close to your house or underneath the eaves, you will need to water. Hanging baskets, you should still water every day. Just a little rule of thumb. Now is a perfect time to fertilize too. Just a granular tree and shrub is perfect. And that you'll notice a big difference in your plants, the blossom color and the leaf color as well too. So, all right, everyone stay cool today. Bye guys.